Everything flickers. It is insanely hot. The streets are narrow and it's difficult to get your bearings. Suddenly there is the sound of a shot in the slum of El Hatha. A Danish soldier collapses. Seconds later, all hell breaks loose. Shots are fired from every roof and small alley. The Danish soldiers in Al Hatha on the 14th of May 2007 suddenly find themselves fighting for their lives in the midst of heavy firing. The enemy's weapons and equipment are primitive compared to the Danes, but they know the city and their attacks are lethal. The Iraqi guerrilla soldiers fight in the same way that technologically inferior warriors have fought for centuries. In 1567, the Danish commander, Daniel Rantzau, moves up through Sweden with a large army. They intend to partake in a big battle against the Swedes, but things turn out differently. Instead, they are subjected to constant pinpoint attacks from Swedish guerrilla forces during their march in long columns through dense Swedish forests. They were not prepared for this, and the Swedish attacks gradually break down morale, as well as exhaust and tire the Danish army. Guerrilla is a Spanish word which quite simply means the little war. The warriors who carry out these tactics, they never fight in big battles. They take advantage of the terrain and hide in the forests and friendly villages from where they make charges against the enemy. Looking back at the history of Denmark, the little war, as it was known at the time, is introduced in 1785 where the first Jäger Corps are established in the Danish army. Present-day Jäger Corps, which are special or elite units, basically use the same technique in terms of taking advantage of the terrain and carrying out pinpoint attacks. In recent times, guerrilla warriors are still a common sight. In Afghanistan, the Taliban often employ the tactics of trying to exhaust one's opponent, for example, through the use of roadside bombs. Back in Al Hatha, the Danish soldiers were attacked incessantly from all directions. After several attempts, a heavily armoured column finally managed to break through roadside bombs and heavy firing to rescue the trapped Danish soldiers and drive them to safety. The Danish soldier who was hit in Al Hatha's slum area did not survive the attack from the Iraqi guerrilla soldiers. <laughs>